completely, completely secular. And we are live, folks. Welcome to the Sit Down Standard, the podcast celebrating all the amazing things you can do while sitting, whether it's enjoying movies, watching television, or playing games. I am one of your hosts, David Bray. I am joined, as always, as, as, as always, Mr. Gerald Bales. Hello. I even gave you a mister there. Jordan would be mad. Yeah, I don't care. He's not here. So, anyways, um, you can always check out our podcast on uh, YouTube. We do um, video productions of this. Faces. YouTube.com slash sit down standard. Now, of course, if you just want to listen to the audio version, we are on iTunes, SoundCloud. (laughs) (laughs) Hey, man, come on. It's like, Jesus, thank God I can just watch an audio version of this. Uh, Yeah, so I just minimize the window if you don't want to see That's true. That's true. Just give us, we just want the view and the thumbs up, and then you can leave. Maybe like 30 seconds so we get the ad content. I don't know. Yeah. By the way, you hear about the whole ad apocalypse thing going on? How much money do we add? We're at in that YouTube bank by now. Can we millions, even cash out yet? E- millions, man. <laughs> millions. No, um, I don't even understand what's going on. Is it just like a big ad? People po- were, no, yeah, people were pulling ads um, like Coke and stuff like that because their ads were supposedly, allegedly shown on like racist videos. But is it, I thought, so YouTube controls where ads go? Yeah, it's a, there's, I, I'll, I'll point you to a really cool video after the show if you really okay. want to see how no, it works. Just tell- it's very interesting, but yeah, like your videos are, are the, the ad space is auctioned off to advertisers like the second you make a click based on hmm. you, based on who's doing the click. Interesting. It's weird the way it, the way well, it works. Well, yeah, cool. and then now all that data will be sold to your internet service provider. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we should talk about that sometime. Yeah. Anyways, iTunes, SoundCloud, Stitcher Radio, and Google Play Store. You can check out our audio podcast on there. Make sure to leave us a review, five stars if you can. Um, of course, you can always send us an email. Email is sitdownstandard at gmail.com. Okay, now that we got the shameless promotions out of the way. No, nope, we haven't been hacked yet as far as I know. <laughs> So we're good. <laughs> no, we haven't. Uh, we got a bunch of uh, emails from some prince in Nigeria, apparently. Anyways. That's an old 90s email joke, David. <laughs> that's we that's, what, that's what this podcast is. A bunch of old 90s. No, you got to be something like, someone was fishing for my password, uh, but I didn't okay. want to give it out because I'm not an idiot. Exactly. Anyways. And that's dated. That's dated. Joke, I know. Yeah. We got to figure out a new internet joke. Yeah. Um, but let's check in with what we've both been doing this weekend. Oh, what you doing? Oh, what you doing? What you doing? Ah, ass to ass. Really? You'd, you'd have to beep that out. Yeah. Uh, it's no. relevant. We no. always do something relevant. That's no, fine. I don't care about that. Yeah. We need some levity this week because we will be getting into the weeds later on in the movie, oh, our yeah. top 100 movie of all time in this week. It's but tease. what did you do? Hopefully something fun other than watch well, the- Well, a couple things, David. <laughs> Speaking of Jordan, we don't need him anymore because I got my own Nintendo Switch, dude. That's right. Uh, I got this yesterday. You bought a um, Nintendo Switch. Yeah, I didn't expect to. I, you know, everything, everybody sold out. I just went to Target and was like, "Hey, do you guys have any? You know, just whatever." They're like, "No, we only had a couple, not. and we sold out." Then I went to another display. I guess they have like the main display up front, and then they have another with the glass thing. I'm like, "Oh, what about these two? Are they just empty boxes?" And they're like, "Oh, I didn't even know we got those." So yeah, um, bought that uh, one two Switch, and uh, Jordan refused to buy. And of course, I got Zelda digitally. See, this is why I think Nintendo Switch is going to be successful. Both two out of three people on this podcast have purchased it. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> if it wasn't Zelda, I wouldn't have gotten it. But that's, that's the only game I care about playing. I only got one, two Switch for something to play with the wife, and then um, our goddaughter is coming to visit this week for Easter, so that'd be kind of fun for the for the kid. But um, so, your thoughts? Um, I have a couple thoughts, David. One, Zelda is amazing. Yeah. Um, I need to see if there's a play time on that because I think I played for a couple hours. Okay. By now. Um, yeah, but it's really, really. You didn't get the colored really one. Really cool. They you didn't, didn't get have, the. They only had the gray. Oh, you okay. get what you can get, man. And no, that one's super ugly. <laughs> the blue or red, or is it blue neon. and red? Yeah, you got a blue one and a red one. Why would they do that? It's Japan, dude. Who knows? Yeah. <laughs> okay. So you, you're playing but, Zelda. Uh, you played Zelda. It. Zelda's fantastic. I don't know. Like the story wise is all right as far you know as far as I've gotten. I haven't played that much Wait, yet. The Zelda story, like they're all the same. So no, save so the princess. Different. Well, they're all in the same vein, right? Zelda is this. They're all called Legend of Zelda, yeah. Well, no, but I mean, it's this. It's a scrappy young guy who is called to do something bigger than he's than he originally is. Where, you but know, yeah, but you're, you're boiling it down to the very basic. That's you a, could say like, hey, all action movies are the same, right? They all shoot guns. There's boobs and cutscenes. All the that's same. That's not true at all. Anyways, <laughs> uh, so far it's like just like the way it controls up the fighting. It was like really. Uh, we talked a lot about this a couple weeks ago when Jordan was, was yeah, on but here. go ahead. But just, now I have my own hands on impression. Right. No, but like the the combat and stuff's kind of like defeating because you. Uh, uh, you get hit and you you die a lot. <laughs> oh, so a lot of uh, rinse and repeat. Kind of like, yeah, a lot, but a lot we were talking about it's a lot the the dodging and all that kind of stuff and your weapons and um, that aspect of the game is really fun. But just like the animations, like just ev- everything is just how it's kind of hard to explain if you smooth, haven't played the game. But everything fluid. is just smooth, pretty looking. Um, the graphics are great. 
Um, I haven't played it on even on my TV yet because I'm just like, why do I need to? And I'm out of HDMI input, so like, we'll just stick to this for now. <laughs> I was gonna say you own all three now. You own PS4. I, ha- yeah, I have an Xbox One, PS4, and now a Switch. Must yeah. be nice. But I don't have a One S or a PS4 Pro. One of those all coming. Saving out. for that Scorpio. No, they're out right now. But Scorpio's not out. No. Okay. It's a holiday. But uh, anyways, um, yeah, it's very cool so far. I do like Zelda. Have you messed with the fine. online components, the online store, uh, or anything like that? Well, I got Zelda off the store. That's really the only oh, online okay. component there is at this point. Um, battery life is not so good. Yeah. I played it for like, like I said, about an hour, hour and a half today and it's already at 60%. Well, it was before I charged it. Did you, is there a brightness level like on a phone? Uh, I believe so. I haven't changed any of those settings. They're at their defaults. Okay. I thought there was an automatic, I got to dig through the settings menu. Yeah. Little, but I just wanted to play me some of that Zelda, but, um, it's cool so far. I definitely like the handheld stuff. It is the perfect, uh, pooping console. I can tell you oh, that Jesus. much. Why did I even touch uh, it? <laughs> I should have known better. Why did I touch uh, it? No, 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 I actually have not pooped with this yet. David. Okay, but thanks. Soon. I appreciate it. Okay, okay never to use it again. Yeah, but anyways, uh, maybe I should get a spare pair of Joy Cons. <laughs> These are the bathroom Joy Cons. <laughs> okay. Um. Anyways, keep going. Um. But yeah, it is the the portability of ness of it. It's definitely not a 3DS replacement. Um, people who are saying like, oh, will this cannibalize that market? I do not think so. I can't just throw this in my pocket and go. Um, but it is like, uh, my wife has a thing where I'll go upstairs and play Overwatch, but you know, that, that kind of sucks. She doesn't like that so much. So the fact that I can be downstairs with her while she's watching TV and playing my video games is perfect. Uh, do you plug in a pair of headphones? Mm-hmm. Okay, so yep. you rock the headphone jack. Okay, cool. Yeah, obviously I can sit in bed and play before yeah. going to bed. Um, anytime I could uh, play this thing, uh, play Zelda, uh, it's great. So uh, so far, so good. Other than the battery life is mad, but what are you going to do? But you, you're enjoying it immensely. Very Very much enjoying worth, it, yeah. worth the purchase. So far, yeah, worth the purchase. Now, okay. after Zelda is done, depending on how long that takes me to play... And me, because um, then I'll get it, and then... <laughs> sure you will. No, 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 definitely. Okay. Um, It'll then, be like 2019. I'll be yeah, like, maybe this it won't Zelda so bad, because like, I don't want to be like my Wii U, where I played one game and then just sat there until I decided to trade it in. I definitely don't want that. So um, hopefully by the time I'm done and then you're done, maybe Mario will be out, and then I'll get some more playtime out of it. Sounds good. It's really... Uh, warrants that purchase. Also, uh, rip Mass Effect, because I'm not going back to that game. Oh, where you're done? Um, I mean... I kinda, just because of Zelda? Zelda. Zelda beats it's it. It's really good, yeah. Yeah. I mean, you, I mean, I mean, if I, I can't, you'll play. never go back. Don't, don't you, that was kind of games you never, you can't jump back in. Like if you miss, if you're gone for a couple months, there's no, I'm reason. still playing with the strike teams ass. So I'll, I'll, uh, I, oh, def- yeah, I want to <laughs> the strike team. Ass. So I was playing mass effect. Um, we could talk about this. Like, so you want to talk about it too, but, um, I was playing earlier this week before I got the switch. Um, and I was at the point where like, dude, these like, what? I'm so over this. Yeah. Like, I just, I want to like, just be done with the game. That's why you gotta, I started playing the main missions again and it's really good. Actually, the main missions get pretty good. There's a couple like, what are they called? Loyalty quests for the, they're really good. Like it's. Which ones have you done? Uh, Vetra and the. Crow That's when I started and now Drac, I'm on, the, on hold. Drac, I did his, I think. Oh, I haven't gotten his yet. They're, they're all pretty good. Like yeah. so far, all the ones I, I don't know which. I don't the, main, the main, the main, the main storyline is, is interesting and, and it's one of those games where like as you play more like you it's like an onion you keep peeling off a layer you're like oh i didn't even remember and you cry more and more <laughs> no <laughs> well it's just one of those well the graphic thing is well the update the update, I think the update fixed quite a bit of problems just the I, eyes alone i'm like this looks way better they don't look dead and like dolls. I, I don't understand how they didn't pick that out in q a i mean it's pretty obvious other than they just uh, don't call it the f- end of the fiscal year david yeah i guess i just feel like that's something they should have fixed easily. Well, no, a lot of people are saying, like, this is a big update. There's no way they could have patched this in, or they could have just put this yeah, update like out in two, two weeks. Yeah, it was like a 2.3 gig download. Yeah, but not huge. just that, but just the amount of changes they made, like facial animations, voiceover, all this stuff. A lot of the stuff has changed. There's no way they were like, day of release, let's start on this patch. This patch was in the work before yeah. the game came out, and they just couldn't get it to uh, market in time. I like the remnant part of the story. I like the like these robots that were there to Sudoku. You like Sudoku, David? <laughs> Actually, yeah. The, I, no, honestly, I like Sudoku. So it's not it's not the worst thing in the world as a puzzle. It reminds me a lot of Bioshock's pipes. Remember, like, there's always this little tiny mini game within games. The hacking game. The hacking game, right? And like that one's okay. The, yeah, I don't the Sudoku's it. fine. Sometimes it gets to a point where I'm like, you almost have to walk away because if you stare at it too long, you're like, okay. No, the first couple times I accidentally pressed A to back out instead Same of B, here. and then all these enemies spawn. You're like, no, I don't want to. <laughs> I didn't mean to fight you guys. No, so that's kind of frustrating. Yeah. But I, I'm, I do want to finish storyline, but uh, I don't know. We'll see, man. It is. It is. In the if con- I get bored of Zelda, which I mean, in the context of the game, it's kind of funny. Like, you have this advanced AI called Sam that can like take care of alien technology that's never been accessed. Mm-hmm. 
but it can't do the Sudoku puzzle. Like you have to do it as the character. It's just kind of in the. Th- well, they have those those. You can buy like a thing to skip it, right? They made them cheaper. I yeah. I'm having the problem. I, where I don't spend yet, any though. money. I don't spend any money on anything. I'm crafting like my own. Like, no, but and it, stuff that's now, that's the problem that I have with uh, Skyrim, Fallout. You get all this stuff and you never use it, and yeah. then when you get to the end of the game, you're like. Well, that probably should have been a lot easier than what I went through because I didn't use any potions, any upgrades. Well, not just that, but like the tiers of le- weapons you can craft and stuff, or just any weapons in the game, are like one, two, three is four the highest. I think or five is, is five. Five. But like, I'm not even on. Like, I'm not that far in the game. I'm at the same story part I yeah. was before, and I'm getting drops of like fours and stuff like that. So I'm like, why do I even need to buy weapons? Or it's weird to me that the I'm rocking the same armor set I had from the very beginning of the same game. Here. It gives you more experience. So I'm like, that's what I want. And it's ultra so. rare. So I was like, yeah, it doesn't encourage um, uh, experimentation. Yeah. Like. Uh, what's the? Well, I do say the weapons and the crafting, the different augments and stuff you can research is yeah. cool. No, it's cool. It's just I don't. I, I my gun seems fine. It seems a, uh, just about You're as doing enough damage. Yeah, doing right. enough damage to the where it's difficult, or if I act stupid and run in, I'm gonna get killed. What your wrote? What's your uh, loadout look like? Um, Rocking an AR with a sniper is my uh, no. Way always, to go. Yeah, always assault rifle and a pistol I, and a shotgun. I never go sniper rifle because oh, yeah, you do three weapons, huh? Yeah. I can't carry that much. Oh, well, that's <laughs> I do like the along. AR and the sniper. It's like yeah, I don't know. Like there, there's parts of the game that it's. I enjoy the. You know me. I like the codex. I read all that stuff. So I'll, sometimes I'm literally like sit down. I'm like I'm not gonna play anything. I'm just gonna read the codex. And like for an hour and a half, I'm just reading. Wow. And then I'm like, what am I doing? Like I shouldn't be reading a codex about. But I just like the world. Not just that, but it's like they should it's make a, a movie. bad game. So it's like don't invest too much time. Yeah, but into I like it. the I like the world building aspect of that game. I enjoy Even the I game? enjoy the universe of Mass Effect. I like the aliens. I like their motivations. I like how aliens were like we're going to Andromeda, and all of the baggage that we had in the Milky Way galaxy should fall away. But we brought all of that stuff with us, and I enjoy that. I like that. I like first of all the exploration aspect of like one day we're gonna do this. Like we are gonna do Elon Musk. Is going to send us to the Andromeda Galaxy. I do like the the um, the planet. The um, what is it called? Like, there's the rating validity or something like that. Yeah, yeah, viability. Viability. I do like that. Where you're like, I got to do stuff so people can like live here. I yeah, th- I do. And think they build that's a base, cool. and, then and you, you unlock more cryo. Th- like people are coming out of yeah. sleep so they can. Work. I enjoy that part of the game a lot, and, and I think it's just because I enjoy exploration in games. And there was a part like on um, they're like, hey, we should go back to Eos. Remember that first planet, the first outpost? And you go there and it's just like, or whatever. now there's more stuff and there's like more people there. So yeah. it's like you're populating this stuff. I also like uh, fighting. Cool. There's a remnant on the sand planet uh, This the later on in the sand planet. This giant worm comes Architect. out of the Architect, yeah. And it's like... There's one on Volid too. It's so awesome. Like yeah, it reminded me cool, of like yeah. Dune. I was like, oh, let's ride on top of it. <laughs> <laughs> that is a pretty cool fight. Um, but yeah, I, I'm assuming there's one on like every planet. Yeah. But yeah, those are those are cool. Anything else other than oh, video yeah. games? Sorry, uh, no, I okay. do have a couple things here. Um, oh, um, HomeKit. I've talked about HomeKit before. It's kind of like Apple's um, home automation platform. It's very locked. Surprise, surprise. So you have to buy a special HomeKit thing that works with your kit. I got a HomeKit thermostat. Okay. Um, it's the Ecobee three. If people care, probably not. So wait, wait, wait. Um, so company, it's kind of like AirPlay, right? AirPlay is a technology that Apple you can add Apple Play to your product, but you have to pay for licensing, right? Through correct. Apple. Okay, so this company is a company that makes a thermostat that works in connection with your HomeKit uh, Apple thing. Yes, so I okay. can see right now, David, on my handy home app here, I can see that my living room is 73 degrees. Yeah. Um, I have it set to cool to, uh, if it gets above 75, it turned on the AC. Okay. Um, and then I have a sensor that comes with upstairs, that I put in my room upstairs. It's 75 up there. Okay. And then it also has occupancy sensors. So you can see if people are in your house. I get, yeah, I could detect if it has like. By the uh, way, speaking oh speaking of uh, speaking of people in your house, you know, like when you watch a YouTube ad or whatever, and it shows you like a quick ad about like I don't know Ford or something like mm-hmm. that. There was one that was on there that was completely silent. There's no sound, and it's just text messaging back and forth between a dad and his son, and he's like, "Hey, son, are you in your room?" And he's like, "Yeah, dad, what's up?" Like it's immediately coming back and forth. He's like, "So you're not downstairs?" Like. It's a it's an ad for security system. Home security. Oh my god! Like so effective. I was freaked out. He's like, okay, <laughs> got you, Dave. He's like, and it's completely silent. I was watching it at night too, because I'm watching a YouTube video. And no, you don't understand. They're coming from inside the house. No, and he's like, so you're not downstairs. And he's like, no. He's like, all right, I want you to stay in your room. And I was just like, and there's like just a picture of like a shadowy figure. That's just the background of the text. The text messages are on top of that. 
I was like, whatever you're selling, I'm buying, man. But I didn't buy anything. But I just, I mean, you know what I did? I was so scared. I was like, skip ad. I don't yeah. want to know what happens at the end of this. But very effective ads. No, scaring it's, people. It's cool. Like, HomeKit's really cool. And I, and I can control it's all from the internet. Like, it's you don't have to be locally there. Um, I can set the temperature wherever I want. And then I haven't gone to the actual automation bit of it, but I can set up geofences. So, like, for example, if I leave a certain area around my house, it'll automatically change my AC to, like, a different temperature. Or, like, the same if I'm Save coming money. back. Yeah, I don't know yeah, how exactly. close you are. And they'll kick on the AC. So I wanted to get it, you know, before the summer and stuff and see if it helps my uh, I think, power bill because goddamn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, here Living in, Vegas, in the desert, you know. Yeah, and we weren't supposed to live here. You know that, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Keep going west is what we were supposed Let's to do. Let's build a town in the desert, they said. It'll be great. Yeah. Um, so yeah, so that's very cool. And then I want to, I'm getting, I also ordered a uh, HomeKit switch, um, which is something you just, oh, it's a wall switch, but it's, it's kind of like an intermediary so thing. Off. Yeah. So I can, I'm going to put it for my outside patio lights because I don't have a switch on there. So I can see like, hey Siri. That's Toronto. cool. Yeah, Toronto Lights. We're getting um, closer and closer to that, like, uh, Richie Rich, you know, like that movie with Macaulay Culkin where it's like everything's voice automated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're getting there. Sarah's freaked out because she's like, Siri's going to, like, turn on the heater and burn us alive in here. I just know it one of these days. <laughs> <laughs> what was that uh, Emilio, was Emilio Estevez movie where all the machines started trying to kill them? God, what was that movie what called? Are you talking about? Everyone's screaming it right now at the podcast. It was Emilio Estevez and, like, all of, like, you would put your, like, hand down a, he was, like, cleaning out the garbage disposal. By the way, don't ever do this to clean it out with, but like it turns on and then like there was a, I forget what it was called. It was a terrible Emilio Estevez movie back in the I guess I missed, late 80s, uh, early 90s. Yeah. I'll look it up while you keep talking. <laughs> uh, the last thing I got is the, this current season of Homeland wrapped up last night. Um, I don't, I'm not going to talk spoilers or anything like that. I just want to say how excellent of a show this is. Last season, not so good. It was kind of a lull, kind of boring. I stopped I watching you stopped it watching. This season is excellent. It's scary relevant. It deals with uh, hacking. It deals with um, data mining of citizens illegally. It deals with a president-elect coming in that maybe is – she's a woman – so, so it's it's kind of like they mix Trump and uh, Hillary in the same character, and then that's the president in this. Nice, but uh, but a president who is like trying to go against uh, maybe the intelligence um, gathering community, all that stuff. So it's very cool. It's very re- relevant. Sometimes scary at times. Um, very cool stuff. That's all I'll say about it. I definitely recommend checking it out. Um, but even you, David, like get back on it. I I I want to get it's back on really, it. it. It's funny really how good. that show and uh, House of Cards are kind of aping like real world or I, I think at a certain point the writers are just like this won't happen and then it happens they're like how, everyone comes in like how did you know yeah like, it's weird like it's quite quite weird like the whole thing with house of cards with like the nepotism that's going on in that show and like the trump administration Hello, like yeah. put all of your <laughs> nephews and cousins and uncles and daughters and son-in-law in charge and then and now you have you're saying in this case you have a president-elect that's kind of interesting or has it's interesting. Like I said, I don't want to say too much because yeah. it will kind of give away, but it's very, very good. Is Abu Nazir, out. does he come back? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, where's Brody? Where's Brody? There's I there's miss- a, there's a lot of Carrie crying. Oh, so God, it's, of course. You know, it has that staple of Homeland. A lot of her with the, her quivering chin. <laughs> It's got like, plenty I, of that. I really like Claire Danes. I think she's real. I think she's excellent in this show. Like she plays. Really a, I think she is a little crazy, by the way, because like there's only so much, so much crazy you can. They act. dial back the crazy a lot in this season, okay. which is good because that was always the thing. Like, where's my pills? I'm gonna go crazy. I'm not gonna take them because that's where I'm best. Is when I'm crazy. You know? Yeah. Do you go into her house and she's got photos up with strings attached? To everything. There is that. There's okay. A, there's a lot a of that. Of but yeah, um, but she's not. Uh, she's is not. uh, what's his face still in it? Mandy Patinka. He's still in it. Saul. Yes. Okay. Yes. Saul Berenson. Yeah. Okay, good. He was. I actually enjoyed his character more than Carrie towards the season. My favorite's Quinn. Quinn's my favorite. Quinn's yeah, Peter awesome. Quinn. Yeah, yeah. It's weird because it's like Peter Quill and Pete. Anyways, just just from. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I got. I got. Okay. Guns and Galaxy. Yeah, yeah. It's like there's so many names. Um. Anyways. Um. Apparently, that's pretty much all I got. David, yeah? what you doing? Um. I got a couple things this week. Um. In light of our top 100 movie of all time this week, which is, in my opinion, we'll get to it, but one of the most depressing movies of all time, I needed some levity. So I watched a bunch of comedy specials. 